This vehicle came to us with a concern of a check engine light and that the vehicle was running rough. Uh, had been to a prior garage um, where they replaced the ignition coils and spark plugs. When we put it on our scan tool, we had a P0300 and a P0301 for a cylinder one misfire. We could have gone in and, and checked the spark plugs, verified that they were replaced, checked the ignition coil, but to do that for bank one, we would have had to remove the intake because it covers the ignition coils and spark plugs, as well as doing a compression test, we would have had to remove the, the intake to do that. So instead, we went into the scan tool and we're gonna troubleshoot the injectors. So we went to functional tests and then down to injector one for, since our misfire is on cylinder one. And we're gonna go ahead and toggle it on. That humming you're hearing is coming from your throttle body. Our cylinder one injector is right here and it should be clicking each time the computer commands it to turn on. It's not. So what we're gonna do is compare it to cylinder two, or injector number two. Come back here, back out. Go to injector two. Toggle it on. And you can hear it clicking. Here's injector two, so we know that. You can also put your finger on it. You can feel it clicking each time the computer commands it on. So now we need to verify Is it our injector, our cylinder one injector? Is it the wiring to the injector? Or is it the driver inside the computer that's failed? So what you're gonna wanna do, we like to use a little pocket screwdriver like this. You're gonna slide this red tab up. It's a safety lock. Once you have that done, squeeze your clip. You're gonna get off your injector there now come over, our kit's an OTC Noid Light kit. And you're gonna find the one with the pins that fit it best. Yeah, set the... There we go. So now, we're gonna go back to injector one. We're gonna to toggle it. And we're going to watch. So that blink of light is telling us that our wiring to the injector as well as our injector driver is okay. So our issue is our cylinder one injector. Pretty simple diagnosis. We were actually able to do this without removing the intake. You wouldn't be able to do this for cylinders three or five under the intake, but we were able to uh, get at the injector connector with two clips and remove it and then put the light on. So this would save you some time. Um, you wouldn't have to remove the intake, charge the customer for the labor for that, and you'd be able to verify the, the concern before the intake even came out. Hope this helped you guys out.